There it is right there. The world on high, I'm veiled. That's what it is. Right behind the sun the whole time. So I'm, I'm focusing in on my dogs. I'm focusing in on my birds to let you know there's some real footage. Focusing on my other birds, you know, and then back to the sky. And what you see is the sun don't have a shadow, fool. It don't have a shadow. That's that's the world on high. That is the uh, what they call Planet X, Nibiru, the New Jerusalem, uh, Wormwood, you name it. You know exactly what it is. Oh, I ain't done yet because now this is my night vision camera. And this is what I'm seeing in my night vision camera. No, there is no new uh, 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 lens flare at night. That's a planet that you're seeing right next to the moon. And this, this is the new world. This is the world on high being unveiled. When you see the world on high being unveiled, you are in the end time. I'm shaking the camera to let you know that that is no way possible. That's a news flare. Waving my hand in front of it. You can see my red light flashing it. There's uh, two planets. And, and you see this thing is rotating around the moon. This is the moon. So it's planets by the moon. And it's, it's a planet behind the sun. If you can look closely, you can see two planets in there. One more vivid and one more... Uh, uh, and, and look how large this is. They're, they're all coming down. And, and, and you have reached the end. You know, and I don't know how you guys keep uh, playing about in this world. Trying to get fame. Trying to get money. Trying to get this. Trying to get that. See, it, it moved right into there. So if you look close, it's moving. You know. It moved into it, so it moved out of view right there. You know, after a while, you can see it, it's right next, it's right right in the moon now, like moving across the moon right in front of it. I'm still not done, see right there? Now let's darken it. You know what you see? Planets. And you see it's something that's out of this universe. It's moving. It's not like this universe. It's straight out of uh, a, a, a flick that you, you, like you can't describe it. This is coming near, and like the Bible said, Men's heart will fill them. And then, like the Quran said, the heart's just going to come right up to the throat and choke them. Choke them when they when they figure out what the heck is going on, when they actually see it. Mass suicide. That's what's going to happen. And uh, mass hysteria, crashes, food shortages, I quit work, all of it. One of the biggest mistakes people make is letting the government tell you what that is. As if another man know what that is. Except for God, he knows what that is. Because he's the one who, who creates everything. So if you're looking at one sun over here and another sun over there, the sun don't have a re reflection, fool. It don't. Don't let them say, oh, it's an aurora. It's this and that. This an aurora too? Huh? That's an aurora? You know, is that one? It's clearly one planet far away and another planet far away. W what about over there? The sun is making a reflection over there, down there. See, it's, it's one sun, two suns. Actually take the time to look at your sunset. Notice that your sun is in the wrong place. Notice that your time is up, fool, and these people is playing around. Don't you know what's getting ready to go down? We're getting ready to go through World War Three right now. Armageddon is going down. they all over there in the position, just like the Bible said, just like all of the books say. Gog and Magog War, Armageddon, whatever you want to call it. It is going down. And you see these plants. You see everything. And, and, and you still continuing the sin as if you don't see it. You're going to hell. Just like I said, for no forgery, most of this, this is my backyard. It's film. You know what that is in it? That's red iron oxide. That's coming from that planet that's coming down. That planet is hell. And, and it's right there. You know, it, 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 you can see it. And then you know what this is? This is a ship, a spaceship that's coming right out of the sky, right over my backyard. Right over my backyard and see something going to shoot out, out of the middle of it. You know, that, that's not from here. And, and we know it ain't from here. And, and there's more. Here's another day. When you want to see it, you can see it. When, when you want to see it, you can see it. You see that dark line? That The sun don't make dark lines behind itself. That is another planet behind there when you want to see it. You know, and this is darkened up. You can see it. You see those chemtrails? He said, oh, those ain't clouds. That is how much efforts and money that these governments is using. That's why they're going uh, belly up, collapsing. That's why the stock market and everything is going down. They're spending trillions and trillions of dollars to try to hide God, try to hide his planets, to try to hide the truth, you know.
and then uh, let's go into a space see uh, um, every view every angle so there is no denial about it you know what it is and yeah I know what's coming with next uh did the did, did, uh, did the cracker say it did the white man say it the, did the white man tell us I mean come on you guys are so in y'all wild intoxication of crime and sin in this world and investing in things that are uh, fruitless you know you ain't gonna get anything in the hereafter but hellfire you know, you, you, what good is it to gain the whole world and lose your soul? Yeah, the white man said it, and I'm going to let you hear him say it. But today, scientists from the California Institute of Technology have announced that they finally have solid evidence for a planet X, a true ninth planet on the edge of our solar system. It's believed to be far beyond the orbit of Pluto, roughly the size of Neptune, with a mass ten times that of Earth. There are things out there, little icy objects that are uh, orbiting in a funny way, and nobody was quite sure why. It seemed like there might be something with gravity pulling on them, but nobody quite understood. And finally, these scientists that you talked about uh, took a really hard look at it, did simulations, calculations, and they came up with the explanation, it probably is this giant planet. I, I think I read somewhere it orbits the sun every 10,000 to 20,000 years. Right. Uh, is that why no one has seen it to this no, point? No, that's not why. It's because it's so dim. It's, it's so far away that even though it's big, it's very, very dim and it'd be very tough to spot with a telescope. This world and these people is killing me to how dumb they are. It's red iron oxide. The, the, the Quran says when the sky turns red like ointment and the world on high is unveiled, and it is, then draws, then comes the end, then comes the war, it's all going down. You know they over there in Syria, all of Armageddon, all the nations, and you know they're getting ready to fight against Israel, uh, and, and not only Israel, but Americans as well. You know the bombs is coming over here. You know what's happening. You know, you, you, you see what's going on. You know this red iron oxide, all these, uh, uh, what they call diabetes, and all that is increasing, and heart attacks, and strokes, and all that. That is what this is called. Look up iron oxide. Look at look at the look up the effects of iron oxide. You know why they trying to say it's a medical condition because of the food that you're eating, bad, poor diet, and lack of exercise. No, look look at the extent that the devil is hiding the end. Because if you knew it was the end, and I do mean the end, we only have like if we got days left, and I do mean that. If we got days left, we're doing good. You know, and I can't warn people. And like they said, when when you try to warn people, they say. Oh, it's a hoax. This is all a hoax. We making this up. I make the sky red like this. I'm making those planets come. I'm making moons appear in the night. No, I ain't doing that. You know that this never existed before and you know your end is nigh. In this video right here, this is the effects of this planet drawn there. It has, uh, 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 what do you call it, magnetic field. And as it draws near, the magnetic field, there you go. The magnetic field is, is pulling see the cars is metal the people ain't now watch, watch when when they in the magnetic field look at on the other side of the street too they, just in that little area if the magnetic field pull hard right there bam there you go you know and, and people have no idea what's going down what's going down is when that magnetic hit, field hit earth earthquakes uh, everything gonna go down at one time and it is gonna go down fast and it's gonna go down hard and I'm preparing for it you know we preparing for it uh, bomb shelter, food, water, uh, 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 different electricity like solar and wind, wind power, and and everything that we can do. Uh, stocking up food and what you doing? What you doing? That that's the case. This is a, this is a warning going out for the people. You know, uh, a lion awaits in the thicket, like it says. The Gentile destroyer has arrived. What is Gentile destroyer? It's a Gentile destroyer to destroy. Pegawas, Caucasians, they were meant to be destroyed. Read your Bible and, and type in Google search the Gentile destroyer. Put, put Bible and Gentile destroyer and you'll find it. But anyway, so like I said, our time is nigh. You know, and hopefully you heed this warning and get you and your family together. Uh, it's going down. It ain't going to be, the, the, Donald Trump is not going to be president. All this shit is going to end before Donald Trump. It's going to end, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm warning, this is my last warning. And, you know, hopefully, uh, I don't warn no more because we ain't got no time. We out of time. So I would advise you and your family to get ready and prepare to meet God.
for you and your entire family to prepare to meet God. That's it. You know, you have been warned. 